What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. Today we are gonna go over some stuff you should know about VS Code that will hopefully make you a little bit more productive. Now, if I miss anything important or if you've got any helpful tips, I'd love to hear those down in the comments below. There's a lot to VS Code. So as much as I'm gonna teach you today, I'm sure there's a lot you can teach me as well. But let's get into it. So the first one you need to know about is Control Shift P. And this opens the command palette in VS Code and lets you search for whatever command you want to try to run. Um, this is first because we're going to use it a lot today, specifically to get to the settings. I usually like to use the JSON settings, but there's also these open, like the UI for the settings as well, if you want to go that route. But there is the settings. So that brings us to number two. I usually like to turn off the minimap. It just takes up screen real estate. And as cool as it looks, I found that I never really use it in the years that I've been using VS Code. So I'll usually turn that off. If you wanna do that, just go to settings.json and add editor.minimap.enabled and set it to false and save. And then that will remove the minimap on the right side for you. The second thing is I usually like to move the sidebar over to the right side right now. By the way, the um, hotkeys to open and close it are control B as in boy or bravo. So if you just press that, it opens and closes your sidebar. But when it's on the left side, when you're opening and closing it, your whole screen jumps around because this is opening your codes shifting over to the right and it just is kind of annoying to me to have to do that. So I usually like to move that to the right side. Now, whenever I open and close that, my code doesn't shift around, so I don't have to refocus my eyes somewhere else. And if you want to do that, it's just workbench.sidebar.location and set that to right. And then that will move your sidebar over to the right here. The next thing I like to kind of move around, if you press control and the tilde symbol, it's right above tab to the left of one it opens up the terminal down here. And to me, when the Explorer is open and the terminal, you don't have a whole lot of screen real estate for your code. So I'll usually move terminal, just click and grab it and drag it over to the sidebar here and add it over there. And now I don't ever need to open that bottom bar really. Um, if you press control tilde, it still brings you to the terminal as well. It's just on the right side. And this also gives you a lot more room to see what's going on in your terminal. If you have a long script come out, um, and then also helpful tip with terminal, if you press up or down, that will run through the previous commands you've run and you can just press enter to run that command. That's not specific to VS Code, that's kind of in any terminal, um, but just another helpful tip there. Speaking of terminal, the easiest way to get files open in VS Code, you can open the file explorer, navigate to documents, GitHub, find the one you want, right click, and click open with code. Or you could open the terminal and just go cd doc github self taught dev and then code dot code dot opens the current directory in VS Code. And that would bring up this. Now let's move on to some more hotkeys. So uh, hopefully you know the basic ones uh, like control X will cut, uh, control V will paste, if you, let's just highlight data and press control C, that will copy it and then we can paste that. Or we can press control Z to undo or control shift Z to redo. So those are the super basic ones that don't apply specifically to VS Code, but those are important ones to know that will make you more productive as a dev. When I am pair coding with somebody and they go up to the, they highlight text, go up to file or it's not even in file, it's edit and click copy, click somewhere, go up to edit, paste. Uh, it's far less efficient than using the hotkeys and just it's painful to watch somebody do that in my opinion. So make sure you know those basic hotkeys. Now, some that are specific to VS Code, um, well actually this isn't really specific to VS Code, but if you're in a file and you press Control F, that brings up the file search and now you can search for something in your code um, I don't know what I want to search for in here. Let's, um, if we search for errors, now it will show us every instance of errors in this file. It makes it easy to replace things as well. Like let's say you've got 20 or 12 or six instances of this and you don't want to go through and manually click and retype it. You can just click, um, type what you want to replace this with here. And then you can either click this button to replace that one instance or this button to replace all instances. And now if we search for replace, there's three instances of replace where errors were before. 
So that's another cool little feature. If you press Control Shift F, then that will search your entire code base. Um, if we search errors here, now we can see that a lot more come up and you can do the same search and replace here as well. Now, let's say there are some files you wanna exclude. For instance, when I'm doing this global code base search at work, a lot of the times I wanna exclude the test files and the mocks. So there are, these th there are these three dots here. You click this and then it's got files to include if you wanna include specific files or files to exclude if you want to exclude files. So I'd usually say tests and then you could just add a comma or and I, let's say I wanna add like JSON files. So that would exclude JSON and anything in this test directory that I had. And then now we've just got the .js files that I actually care about. So this turns it on and off by the way. But that's another little helpful tip when you're doing like a global search for stuff. Now, kind of along those lines, if you press control P, this brings up the file explorer. So let's say there's a specific file you want to find. Um, what something I like I say I wanted to find the Gatsby config, I could just type Gatsby and then it pulls up any file with that in its name. And then I can open up the Gatsby config here, which in my opinion is a lot more a lot faster than just like digging through files saying, okay, where was this again? You can just press control P or command P if you're a Mac and then find that file nice and easy. Other cool hotkey-ish like thing that I've found recently. Uh, let's go back to this index here. Let's say we wanted to reorganize a line. So you could just highlight this, edit, cut, put it where you want it, edit, paste, and then you've got it there, which is super inefficient. Or you can highlight that line, press Control X, click where you want it, press Control V and paste it, which is also not optimal. You can do Alt when you're on the line and press up, and that will carry that line to wherever you want it to be moved. And then this will work with nested things as well. So if you hi highlight the whole nested item and we want to move that, you can move it that way as well. So super handy when you need to reorganize lines in your code. Another thing with alt is if you need to edit multiple lines, like these all say password, let's say I wanted to change all of those, you could press, you could hold down alt and click here, here, and here. And now our cur cursor is in multiple places. Uh, is it control D? to highlight that whole word, delete the word, and then we'll change this to something else. And now we've got it changed in all three places, nice and easy. You don't have to do it three times. So those are the more notable hotkeys that you should know. I'm gonna have a link to the VS Code hotkey cheat sheet in the description below. So go check that out. There are a lot on there, more than we can cover in this video. Now onto a few cool little dev UI tricks that I like. Uh, we're gonna open up our command palette again with Control Shift P. And we're going to go to the UI settings because I don't have these enabled in the JSON settings yet. Um, we're gonna type in animations. And then we are going to enable cursor smooth carrot animation. And this isn't really like productivity. This just makes VS code seem a little bit cooler in my opinion. Now, if we go back here, when we click somewhere else in our file, watch the carrot move. It kind of floats instead of just snap and like disappearing or reappearing there. It kind of animates down, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, it's super subtle, super small, but I like it. And then another thing is smooth scrolling in the editor, which when we enable that, the scrolling is a lot smoother versus like the click down is like, I guess how I'd describe it before, but I like that as well. And then the last little dev UI UX trick that I like has to do with material icon. Um, do I have, where's that at? Material icon theme. So that's in the extensions if you wanna go install that but you can do command palette and then we'll do file um, color, no. Change folder color. And the, by default, it's gray and all of your folders are just gray like that. I don't really like that. I like to add color sometimes. So I'll change it to red, orange, yellow, or you can add a custom color and just enter a hex value. And then it'll change the folder icons to that color. Um, I don't know what's one off the top of my head. Zero, zero, zero. Can we make them black? Is that a thing? Oh, cool. We can. Doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing, 
with the theme we've got going on, but um, you can change it to whatever hex value you'd like. And then of course there's the other base things like changing the font or changing the theme. If you want to get the self-taught dev VS code theme, I'm gonna have a link to that in the, the description. So you can go snag that if you want. This isn't it, I haven't actually made it yet. But I'm gonna make it right after this video and link it up in the video and probably start using that. It'll have the self.dev color scheme. So I just think that'll be cool to do. If you wanna get that, check in the description. Uh, I think that's about it. Another one, make sure you do use a dark theme because bugs are attracted to light. Ah, uh, knee slapper jokes. Um, but yeah, if you feel like I left anything important out, let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I'd love to learn more stuff about this. If you learn some new stuff about VS Code that you think is helpful, give me a thumbs up in the YouTube video thingy so YouTube knows I'm doing good stuff. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the cool content I'm putting out. If you want to come join the Self-Taught Dev subreddit or Discord channel, uh, I think it's, it's r slash self-taught dev or the link to both of those is in the description as well. Feel free to come hang out, talk to me, the other devs in there and make friends. And I think that's about it for this one. So I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. One.